Can you go from amateur level ball striking to pro level ball striking in just a few minutes? Well, let me bring you in on a live golf lesson where national hero and celebrity SES superstar, Jason Fox, comes and sees us for a session. Now, Jason hasn't been playing the game that long, and in the lesson, he started off complaining that he wasn't hitting it very far, he was hitting it on the ground, hitting it all over the place, super inconsistent. Now, in the first part of the video, you're gonna see how we added 30, 40 yards, this one very, very simple drill that turned his ball striking from amateur to pro in just a few minutes. Okay, nice to strike. Where's this coming from? In the second part of the session, we're gonna show you then how we took that power and really controlled it. So when he's out in the golf course, it didn't just go right and left. We were able to kind of turn his big slice into a beautifully straight and controlled shot. I don't think I've ever hit it that far. I thought it'd be nice to show you this lesson because I'm sure you probably can relate. Now, before I get into the video, look, if you're new to the channel, it's been your first videos of mine, please consider subscribing. I release videos just like this one every single week to try and help you improve your game. Plus, I will, you don't have to remember a thing. I'll also put a free download and practice guide in the description box below. Come and look over my shoulder right now as we get started with tip number one. Sorry. So pause there for a second. It's okay to have good grip strength. Yeah. You know, like you're holding it, because if you want to travel this club at 80, 90 mile an hour, you've got to be holding onto it, all right? Relax for a second, hold that. Now grip it, grip it nice and tight. Okay, but I should be able to move this. Okay. So keep hold of it, you keep hold of it, but let me move you without you, so soften those arms. There you go. <laughs> feel that, does that yeah. feel different straight away? Yeah. Okay, now we're talking. See, I can't pull it from you, can I? No. But you're softening off those shoulders. Yeah. Right, brilliant, right. Does that feel like a different place to where you've been? Yeah, I'm like tensed up. Amazing, isn't it? Yeah. So you can't, there's no golf swing if you start there. Right, okay. Right, so not ever, whatever we do, there's no golf swing. So you can do this, both of you can do this on, a, on, a, on a, at any stage, pre-golf, pre-round. Because no one, no one, everyone without realizing has way too much tension here and here. Yeah. yeah? So now what we want to do is get yourself set, make some of those swings. There you go. Just see, feel like you've got less tension in the shoulders and arms. And there's a swing going on, yeah? Yeah. Feel more comfortable? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's hit a few shots. You can see the rhythm in that? Way different. Way different. How's that feel? Yeah, I'm too scared to move now, just in case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just, that was like a, it was a swing. You see a difference? Yeah, yeah. So just look at this number though. What's look at this number now though, starting to creep up. Yeah. We've just a bit of this. A bit of relaxing, yeah. So this is this, by the way. If you if you're if you're starting on a round of golf, yeah. Um, or you haven't played for a bit, or you go to a driving range, before you worry about anything technical. Just get someone to hold the other end of the club. Oh, do you do it yourself? Literally, yeah. you don't want to have this limp grip, no. right? Yeah, you, you know, I, but you do want to have that sensation that there's freedom in those shoulders and arms yeah. so that you can actually have a swing. Yeah. Yeah, and then we can start to then go, okay, now I've got my swing. How do I just kind of fine tune it a little bit? Yeah. All right, cool, keep going. Do you feel more relaxed? Yeah. Yeah. Feels be way better. Yeah. That's like a golf swing, isn't it? Beautiful. And what you're doing now, just by doing that, you're accessing your talent. You said you played a bit of hockey. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, when you're swinging it, you'll be able to feel the club. So when I do this, right, if I do this, I can feel the club swinging. It's yeah. free. If I'm like this, it's not a rod. Yeah, yeah. I have absolutely no awareness of where that is anymore. So the more you soften up, the more you have some idea where that club head is. And each one of these balls now, without even trying, you're now up to 141 yards in carry. Mm. And I don't know about you, but when I'm looking at this, I'm thinking this is looking easier, isn't it? Awesome. Awesome, 148 now. So see, you comfortably, Comfortably now we've, we're, we're adding distance and it looks effortless, okay? But there's one number. 
that um, is a little bit inconsistent. Yeah, but, but this is good, right? Mm -hmm. what we've, when I say inconsistent, you're becoming more consistent in one fault. Yeah. So this swing, this swing circle, which is the swing direction. What stand, should that be reading? It should be around about zero. Right. Okay, and I'll, show, I'll, I'll explain that in a second. Okay. So what I like about this though now, you have got more consistency by letting go. How cool is that? You can see Jason's face, he's already happy. We could almost stop the lesson there. He's got what he wants, but I want him to go one step further. Now he's got the power, he's got the distance. I want him to be able to, when he goes on the golf course, control his accuracy. What he didn't have at this stage, he didn't know why it was going right or why it was going left. This is the next stage, and all I do is give him one simple tip so that he can tune in. Whenever he goes right, he now knows exactly what to do to correct it. Same if he goes left, he knows what to do. I want you to understand this too. I know it's gonna help. Come and join me right now, and let's have a look. So let's do this with me. From here, look, just, that's one circle. Here's another circle. You see that? See, see how the body moves? Now, these are all extremes, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, go on, that's it, good. Stop. Now, notice where your hips are and your weight is if you were to swing a circle in that direction. Is that extreme? Of course it is. Yeah. What would you need to do with the hands through impact to get the ball coming back? You'd have to do something like this, wouldn't you? Yeah. Okay. Now, go to where you were. So the old, yeah, that's where you have been. Right, okay. Where, now, hold the club in your hands. If you go in that position, where's your hand position? Yeah. Everything's back there, isn't it? Yeah. So now shift around. Yes. It makes sense. So yeah. what we're doing is, is we're playing around with these extremes so you can feel how to change that circle, okay? There you go. And now look what you've just done. What's the circle now? Yeah, 3.5. And what have you done to the face? You sw switched it around. Yeah. Now what we're doing is we're simply playing around with how you start to straighten things up and understanding that if you can swing on a circle, the correct circle, you're gonna to start to hit the ball much, much better. Yeah. Right? But do it like this. Play around with that motion. Good. There you go. When you wanna be more consistent, it just comes through a bit of, now working on these simple things, these three things. Soften those arms off, get set up in position so you've got a good circle and away you go. Hey Presto, there you go. Look at that beautiful, beautiful draw. <laughs> that, don't know you, that looked a rhythmical swing, smooth, 160 yards. Look at that now. Wow. Look at this. Every single number there is where we want it to be. Let's See, just keep that there for a minute. Should we stay there? <laughs> just, just keep that. <laughs> just for him. Just for him. Does it feel good? Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. It was like, you know, I knew that I didn't need to do much different to the last one. I just... Yeah. So what do you feel like you've learned? The circle is key, but yeah. nothing's... Being tense overrides everything. You everything. Gotta, you've got to remain uh, relaxed. Before you look like you're like trying to hit it. I don't think I've ever hit it that far. No. So you can see now he's super, super happy. The question is, is does it work for driver? Well, take a look. Just absolutely ripped it as well. Where's this coming from? I swear to God, I've never hit a driver ever like this. Really? Ever. So what, what normally happens to your driver? It, it turns into an utter, I throw it. Where's that going? Straight, I felt. Yeah. Hey Presto, mm. now look at this. So you're getting a feel now. <laughs> you're getting a feel for where it is. Yeah. So I really hope you enjoyed this live lesson. Massive thanks to Jason uh, Fox for coming to join us here in the studio. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and do me a favor, check this video out right here. I actually go into detail on how to kind of adjust these motions so you too can hit the ball super, super straight with not just your irons, but your driver too. Of course, look, if you're new to the channel, press that subscribe button, it's completely free to do so. And I've also put a free download practice guide in the description box below. But until next week, have a great golfing week.